Okay, now a box of mass 20 kilogram moves up a rough plane, okay, which is inclined, okay, um, which is inclined to the horizontal at 25 degree, okay. It is being pulled by a horizontal force F of magnitude 250 Newton, okay. Uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the plane uh, is 0 0.3. Okay, this question a bit tough. Okay, more process. If the box travels 3.8 meter along the plane, uh, determine work done by various forces, work done by all the forces, and the total work done. Okay, first of all, okay, one good thing is he already provide you the free boy diagram. Okay. Uh, with the displacement. Uh, this displacement is important because you need to find the angle theta, you need the uh, displacement. Understand? You need the, the direction of displacement compared with the force to get the angle theta. So now, uh, since you already provide you all the forces, so you just make use of this free boy diagram, okay? Um, okay, that to get the angle theta, okay? You don't need to draw a new one. Uh, however, I just want to add something here. I want to add this um, uh, uh, axis, x and y axis. Okay. Uh, this is the x axis. This is the y axis. Uh, okay. Now, okay. So, first of all, uh, let's do one by one. Huh? Okay. He already gave you the mass. This is the mass 20 kilogram. Okay. This is the mass. So we can put this uh, the information here 20 gravity okay over here and then another thing is uh, this is a rough plane uh, rough plane so it must have friction uh, it has friction and pulled by a horizontal force uh, this force is horizontal uh, 250 Newton okay this force is 250 Newton uh, coefficient. Oh, this is coefficient. And you see, no unit. You see that? No unit. So, what does it mean to you? It means this is mu k, not the friction. This is mu. Uh, this is mu. Huh? This is mu. Okay. Uh, and this is the displacement. Okay. Uh, 3.8 meter. Uh, so, just put there 3.8 meter. That's it. Okay. Uh, now what work done by the external force F? So let's do it. Yeah. So work done by external force F. So A. What's the work done by the external force F? Uh, so if uh, external force F, we just use external force to dot with uh, displacement. Okay. Uh, so uh, it is F as uh, cosine theta. So what is the force F? 250 Newton, right? Uh, so just put 250 Newton. 250 multiply the displacement is 3.8 meter. Uh, cosine. Uh, what is the angle between? What is the angle? Uh, we compare what? We compare between force and displacement. Uh, we compare between force F with displacement. So displacement is uh, parallel to the plane. Uh, so it's uh, parallel to the plane. So it's, it's like this, it's almost like, like this uh, displacement is over here, you see that? Uh, so, uh, uh, displacement uh, going up. So what's the angle between them? What's the angle between uh, this uh, force and displacement? Uh, this, this angle, this angle is the same as this angle, isn't it? 25 degree. Uh, yeah, this angle and this angle is the same, 25. So here is actually 25. Ah, okay. So it's cos 25. Ah, so let's calculate and see. Let's calculate. Ah, I got the answer is uh, positive. Ah, let's, let's make it. I got the answer uh, positive 860.99 Joule. Uh, 860.99 Joule. So positive work done. It's a positive work done. So it means this will increase the kinetic energy. Yeah. Uh, because the angle is less than 90 degree. Yeah. Uh, so this kind of work done is work done on the system. Yeah. 
this force will increase the kinetic energy of the block. The block will gain kinetic energy. Okay? Now look at uh, B. Look at question B. We want to find work done by gravitational force. So this time is work done by uh, gravitational force. Yeah? Work done by gravitational force. So we use gravitational force dot with displacement. So it's a gra gravitational force uh, dot with displacement. So this gravitational force is mg. Apply s cosine theta. Okay. Now we need to compare. Yeah. So yeah, throw this off. Okay. Compare. Um. Yeah. So now we need to compare what we need to compare between the weight and displacement uh, we need to compare between weight and displacement so what is the angle between weight and displacement uh, the weight and displacement is this angle the green angle you see that uh, that's the displacement uh, that's, that's, that's the displacement okay so how to get that value how to get that value uh, okay if you look at here uh, look at here, yeah. Maybe I want to rub off this one, okay. Uh, this is the uh, one thing we know about the weight, okay. One thing we know about the weight is this angle, okay. You see that? Uh, this, uh, this angle here, uh, uh, this angle here, we know this angle is 25 degrees or so, isn't it? Uh, in chapter 4, you learn about this. If this is 25, this angle also 25. Ah, 25. And then, uh, you, are, you want to get from weight to the displacement. That means, include this 90 degree or so. Ah, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. You see that? This is the x, this is the y. So, this x and y, they are perpendicular. Uh, over here, it is perpendicular. You see that? It's perpendicular. So, to get... Uh, so this is here is 90 degree okay so what is the green angle the green angle means from here to here uh, what is this green angle ah this green angle should be 90 plus 25 isn't it uh, the green angle this green angle is between the weight the weight and the displacement the weight and the displacement is 90 plus 25 ah so uh, this one is 90 plus 25 uh, degree. Okay? Nine, 90, 90, 90 plus 25. Uh, 90 plus 25. Okay? So, you see, this is a, is, is not cosine 90. The weight now is not cosine 90. Why? Because this is an inclined plane. Not like the, the previous example. Our previous example, our uh, weight and displacement, they are 90 degree. Uh, last time, our uh, gravitational force and the displacement is cos 90 because it is a horizontal surface horizontal surface the weight and the displacement is perpendicular 90 degree but this time it is inclined surface you see that it is an inclined surface so our weight still uh, still directly directly downward but this weight is not perpendicular to the surface anymore not perpendicular to the surface not perpendicular to the displacement anymore uh, it is now 90 plus 25, which is more than 90. Uh, so, so this cosine, cosine uh, 90 plus 25, uh, you won't get zero anymore. You won't get zero, so you need to find out the value of mass. Yeah, you need to calculate here already. Yeah, uh, because it's not multiplied by zero anymore. So you need to calculate. So what's the mass? Mass is the 20 kilogram. Yeah, the mass of object. So it's 20 multiply 9.81 and then displacement is uh, 3.8 meter and then cosine 90 plus 25 it is 115 ah uh, yeah 90 plus 25 is 115 so what's the answer yeah what's the answer ah so i got the answer is uh let me see it is negative negative uh 315 Negative three one five point 
zero nine. Ah, negative three one five point zero nine zero nine joule. Ah, so ah, uh, negative work done. Negative work done. That means it will decrease the kinetic energy. It will decrease the kinetic energy. Ah, uh, okay. Negative work done. Ah, uh, because it is ah uh, this angle. Yeah, this angle is uh, more than ninety, more than ninety degree. So, ah, uh, this ah uh, the 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 block will lose kinetic energy because it is work done by the block. Ah, uh, work done by the block. Okay, it will decrease the kinetic energy. But the energy increase is more. The kinetic energy increase is more than the kinetic energy decrease. Ah, uh, you see that. So now, ah, uh, continue. Let's have about. Let's do about the C. Let's do C. C is a work done by re reaction force. Reaction force is actually also called the normal force. Okay, it's also called the normal force. So it's work done by normal. Okay, so we are using the normal force to dot with displacement. So it's a normal force dot uh, normal force displacement cosine theta. Ah, so now what do we want to compare? Ah, uh, we are comparing between what? We are comparing between ah uh, the normal force. Ah, uh, we are comparing between the normal force and displacement. It is ninety degree perpendicular. So cosine ninety. Ah, uh, so cosine ninety. So cosine ninety. You no need to to find out the normal force. Ah, uh, because you multiply by zero, isn't it? Because cosine ninety is zero. Ah, uh, cosine ninety is zero. So whatever things you multiply zero get zero. So you don't bother to find normal force also. Ah, uh, okay. So it's zero. So for this case, it has no changes to the kinetic energy of the block. Ah, uh, because zero joule. Okay, no work done. Now how about ah uh, question D? Question D work done by frictional force. Okay, so this one you need to use the frictional force to dot with displacement. Ah, uh, to dot with displacement. So it's a frictional force times displacement cosine theta. Okay, however, this frictional force now is not giving you the complete friction. It gives you only mu. Ah, uh, you're going to give you only mu. So how are you going to do that? Ah, uh, how are you going to find the friction? We don't have the friction yet, so we cannot immediately find the work done by friction. So first of all, we need to find the friction. Ah, uh, so how to find the friction? Okay, so we need to find the friction through the formula mu k n. Ah, uh, mu k n. So for this one, we need to find the normal force. Ah, uh, if this case, ah, uh, we need to find the normal force. So how are we going to use the ah uh, chapter four knowledge? We need to find the y component. This one is in the y component ah uh, of the free body diagram. So ah, uh, never mind. Let me draw out first the free body diagram to see more clearly. Yeah. Okay, now I've drawn for you the free body diagram nicely and neat over there. Thank me first. Okay, so you see, look at here. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I simplify it. I only use free body diagram. Only have a dot. Understand? Free body diagram. Only have a dot. Ah, uh, dot. Yeah. We don't draw a mess there. We draw a dot. Okay, so you first of all you must have the x-axis and y-axis, okay, and uh, all draw all the forces from that dot outward from that dot, yeah, outward from that dot, external force outward from the dot, weight outward from the dot, friction out from the dot, normal force also out from the dot, and also you must label all the related angle. You see that ah uh, this here is twenty five degree. You see the reason why this is twenty five. Ah, uh, because it is over here, ah, uh, twenty five, ah, uh, twenty five. So this twenty five is corresponding angle, corresponding angle to this angle, twenty five degree over here. So, ah, uh, so this is twenty five degree, and this one between the weight and the y axis also twenty five degree. You see the reason why it's twenty five, 
Uh, we already learned that in our chapter forces. Uh, I already told you why this is 25 degree. Okay, in one of the problem videos. Please look out for that. So it is uh, the weight is 25, uh, you know, the weight is 20, 25 degree from the y axis. Uh, so it's complete, yeah. This diagram is complete now. Now, how to find the normal force? The normal force is at the y component. Okay, it's at the y component. So you don't need to bother things about in the x component. Uh, you just look at the y component. So first of all, you need to resolve all these forces with angle. Yeah, forces with angle 25 degree. Uh, to uh, x and y component first before you can find the normal force. Don't straight away. Oh, n equal to mg lah. N equal to mg lah. Wrong. N is not mg all the time. I did explain to you why. N n is only equal to mg if on horizontal surface. Horizontal surface. This is inclined plane. Inclined plane. Okay, inclined plane. N is not mg. Let me show you why it's not mg. Okay, you somehow have external force. You see that? Ah, also if even the uh, you know horizontal surface, if you have external force acting at certain angle, also n is not mg. N is not mg. Yeah. So n is only equal to mg uh, if there is no external force acting at an angle and it is a horizontal surface. So it's very limited condition. Very limited condition, very limited condition to say that n is equal to mg. Ah, so you must don't make conclusion, make don't make direct conclusion saying that normal force is mg. Yeah, don't make direct conclusion like that. You need to check the free body diagram first. Okay, let me show you. Let me check for you. So first of all, we we need we need to resolve these forces with angle into x and y component. Ah, then you can see n is not mg. Okay. So this force it has two component. Uh, uh, this weight also has two component. Okay. Uh, this is the x component uh, of force. And this is the y component of force. Uh, okay, what's the x component? X component is uh, F F cosine because adjacent to 25, isn't it? Adjacent to 25, so it's cosine 25. And then open uh and then uh this y component is opposite the angle. Opposite the angle it is sine lah. Uh, this is f sine 25, uh, f sine 25, okay, 25 degree. Now how about the weight? Weight, look at the x component, x component is opposite. Uh, look uh look at y component first. Y component is adjacent to angle uh, because this time this angle is with y component not like the force just now the angle is with x component so it's op it's different huh? this angle is with x component this uh, angle here is with y component uh, so just now the x component is cosine this one is the y component which is cosine ah be careful be careful and be careful yeah so uh this one you put as i uh, put purple color lah Okay, uh, so this one is W, uh, this one is W, W what? Cosine 25, uh, adjacent, the Y component is adjacent to angle, so the Y component is cosine. The X component is opposite, the X component is opposite the angle, so it's sine, using sine, W sine 25, okay? Uh, okay, so now, uh, I can find the normal force already. Normal force, just look at the y components. Uh, just look at the y component. Uh, no need to bother about the x component. Okay, so, um, so the y component is uh, uh, again the y component. Uh, use the uh, yeah, uh, chapter 4 for forces knowledge. Y component is no acceleration. Normally, y component no acceleration because the block. The block doesn't jump up and down. You see that? The block doesn't jump up and down. It, the motion is just uh, parallel to the surface. There's no motion perpendicular to the surface. So that's why for total Fy is zero. Total Fy component is zero. Uh, we can say it is in terms of in terms of y uh, in terms of y component, it is equilibrium. Ah, okay. 
And now, how are we going to do this? Which, one, which forces are positive, which forces are negative? So we just take if uh, total force equal to zero, we just take forces upward positive, forces downward negative. Uh, forces upward positive, forces downward negative. You see, I just focus on Y component. I don't look at X component at all. Yeah? Uh, just look at Y component. So in the Y component, I have three forces. You see that? It's not mg, you see? Uh, it's uh, actually F sine 25 and W cos 25. Uh, it's much more complicated. So which force are positive? The normal force, okay? So we put as normal force, positive. But then, <coughs> okay? But then the W cos 25 and F sine 25, both of them are negative. Uh, both of them are negative. So write as negative. Negative what? Negative W cos 25. And some more what? Some more the F sine 25 also at the negative side. Uh, F sine 25 is also negative side. Uh, put F sine 25. Okay, F sine 25. Ah, okay, equal to zero. So the normal is positive. The W cos 25 and S sine 25 are negative. Ah, okay, so then you can solve it. Huh? So N is equal to, yeah, these two just go to the other side. Become, W become MG lah. Yeah, W become MG cos, uh, cos sine 25 plus F sine 25. Ah, do you see that? N is not mg. You see that? N is not mg. Ah, N is not mg. N is actually mg cos 25 plus F sine 25. Because the weight is not directly on the y, y axis. The weight mg is not directly on the y axis. It's just the y component uh, on the y axis. Some more there are external force acting at certain angle 25 degree. This external force also have Y component. Also have Y component. Also contribute to the normal force. This external force. This external force also contribute to the normal force because it got the Y component. So both the weight, both the weight and the external force, both of the weight and external force, both of them have Y component. So they both of them both force and the weight affect the normal force. So it's not just mg. Understand or not? How many times I need to tell you? Yeah? Okay. So n is equal to, so let's calculate. Yeah? Mg, m, what is the mass? Mass is 20 kilogram. Mass is 20 kilogram. So put in to there. Uh, okay, remember this one. Huh? So uh, it's, mass is 20 kilogram. So let's find out. 20 kilogram multiply this one 9.81 and then cosine 25 plus what's the external force again external force is uh, 250 newton uh, 250 newton yeah uh, okay so uh, 250 newton 250 sine 25 okay so let's calculate this normal force so what do we get what do we get Ah, I got the answer is um, uh, 283, 283.4722. Uh, I put more decimal place because I want to maintain accuracy. Yeah? Uh, so this is uh, the normal force only. Yeah, Not the work done yet. Not even the friction yet. Hi, I need to find friction now. So I got the normal force only already. So I put into here. Eh? I, that's why I say this question a bit challenging. Not challenging actually. It's lengthy. Uh, it's lengthy. Yeah. Uh, so two hundred and thirty. Uh, this one what, whatsoever. So what's the mu? Mu is zero point three. Uh, so zero point three multiplied by what? Uh, two eight three point four seven two two. So what is the friction I get? Let's calculate. Uh, multiply by 0 0.3 uh, I got the answer is the friction now I got it already in my hand let me review to you uh, 85.0416 uh, 85.0416 okay 0416 
Newton. Okay, I got it. I got it. 84.0416 Newton. So this is just a friction yet, not the work done yet. So I need to find the work done now. So I got the friction 85. So I, now I can put in with ease. 85.0416 multiplied by the displacement. How much is the displacement? 3.8 meter. You see, that's why I write all the information on the diagram. Easy for me to refer, extract the information from just from the diagram. So 3.8 Okay, 3.8 cosine. Uh, what's the angle theta? Angle theta is a angle between friction and the, the displacement. Uh, between friction, friction and displacement, it is 180 degree because it, they are opposite. You see that? This friction, this friction, this friction and the displacement, they are opposite direction. Totally opposite. Totally opposite, that means 180 degree. They are parallel yet opposite. Parallel yet opposite, so it's 180 degree. So you just put uh, cosine 180 degree, which is cosine 180 is usually negative one. So let's calculate the work done by friction. Okay. Ah, I got the answer is negative. Ah, huh? negative. Uh, what's the answer? Three to three point one five. Uh, just put at one six. Uh, negative three two three point one six point one six joule. Uh, that's the answer. Negative negative work done. Negative three point three three two three point one six joule. <coughs> okay. So what happened to the kinetic energy? What happened to the kinetic energy? Uh, the kinetic energy will. Uh, decrease uh, because it eats up the the kinetic energy uh, the block will use up its own kinetic energy to do work it's work done by the system work done by the block uh, okay so it will decrease the kinetic energy so let's look up how what is the total work done on the block then we can see whether the uh, finally the kinetic energy increase or decrease okay let's do e so E, uh, just now the, the answer, is it correct? Uh, let, let me check the answer later on. So the total work done is the net work done. Net work done, that means we total all the work done by each forces. Work done by external force, work done by gravitational force, work done by what else? Uh, work done by normal force, work done by uh, friction. So there are only four forces, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there are only four forces. Displacement is not the force, huh? There are only four forces, means you must have four work done. Understand? You have four forces, means you have four work done. Remember that. Yeah? So, okay. So, total up all of them. So, this one is uh, positive uh, 860.99. Gravitational force is uh, negative, uh, means it decreases the kinetic energy. Uh, three one five point zero nine, and then how about uh, friction? Uh, the normal force, normal force is zero. Okay, and then plus a negative. Uh, this one friction also eats up the energy. It eats up the kinetic energy. It decreases the kinetic energy. Uh, okay. Uh, so you can see. Uh, you can see. Uh, this uh, this one increase the kinetic energy. But the other two, uh, the other two, uh, decrease the kinetic energy. Yeah, uh, these two decrease uh, the kinetic energy, uh, and then uh, this one, uh, uh, sorry, this one has no effect. Zero work done has no effect. So, how much increase? How much decrease? Seems like the increase is much more than much more than the decrease isn't it let's calculate yeah let's calculate yes i got it yeah so the the re total the, the network done is negative i don't know it's positive 222.74 two, two joule ah so what does it mean the increase of kinetic energy is much more than the decrease in kinetic energy so uh the the result is the kinetic energy uh, increase 
or we another word we can say the block accelerate upwards the block there will be acceleration upwards uh, we, from conclusion we can see there are the kinetic energy increase isn't it uh, means velocity increase uh, velocity increase means uh, the block accelerate upwards uh, there is a the acceleration going up the plane okay because the kinetic energy increase uh, from the wheel of work done we can also check the direction of acceleration is going up the plane uh, direction of acceleration is going up the plane okay uh, the, it's not deceleration okay so it accelerate, accelerate upwards uh, kinetic energy increase velocity increase okay so that's all for this work done all right